Welcome to Homer City Live, an educational cooperative of Homer City School District and High Top Sports Network. I'm Brandon Treckenglass. You normally hear me on the football broadcast. So I'm a little bit out of my element, but that's okay because I brought help. And with me today is Jay Dudek. Hi, I'm Jay Dudek, and I've never been on one of these broadcasts before. I can tell from that introduction. <laughs> Doing great so far. Nemo Thank on the you. ones and twos. So hopefully today we're bringing the, uh, a good game. I let Jay do the homework, so I'll let her fill you in on what volleyball is because uh, <laughs> this sport, easy to play recreationally, hard to understand competitively, for me at least. I don't think it's that hard to understand. You just got to watch a little bit and then you'll learn. So I came to plenty of your volleyball games. I wanted to fight the refs. I didn't know what I wanted to fight the refs for, okay? So... Okay, that's understandable. I want to fight the refs all the time when they make a ba bad call, but that is not good sportsmanship. That's, that's the thing. I didn't know if they were making bad calls or not. I just uh, I saw you upset, and I was like, I'm going in. <laughs> okay, so this seems to be a rematch from last year. Okay. Um, so Homer Center is going to be out for blood in this game because West Branch took the game last from last year. So, <clears throat> this should be a good match coming in. All right. Looks like we're about to get the first serve. West, I'm at Homer Center starts it off. Nice set. A little touch over. But just out. First point goes right to Homer Center. The thing I like about volleyball is anything can happen at any moment. Even if you're down for about 10 points, you can come back and win. Yeah, I've seen the uh, River Hawks go up a two-set lead. Oh, and the, another tip. Nice oh, effort, nice effort. Right into by the Homer, Homer City over there. So. Number one comes in to the game. And she is going to be setting, as it looks like. Oh. Thank you. Oh, That's a big block at the net. Kyla Tuffert coming in, number one. Like saying the names whenever we can. I'm going to butcher the names. <laughs> That's fine, me too. West Branch gets a point there. Homer City about to serve to West Branch. Dug up, but not well enough. Good serve. A good short serve. By number serve. 34. Those always kill me. Ashlyn Kerr. Sorry, I'm making the scoreboard go crazy. It's <laughs> lagging on me a little. We're just getting used to this new setup over here. And that ball is going to be out. Good ups from both teams on both sides. But Homer Center just can't seem to put that ball away. Number three, Bella Colino. Back to serve. A what great a swing from number 18. Wow. Homer Center. Smoked it. Elena Fabin. That was a great swing. She was over top that block and got past both defenders. Ball was pretty much right on the line. Number 18 back to serve. Great serve. A good get and save from West Branch. Oh, Homer Center is going to send a free ball here. Oh, great up by number 18. Number 18 is all over this ball today. Little tap over. Set. Going for the... Oh, what oh. touch. Number 33. Homer Center just can't get to that short tip. Katrina Cowder. Cowder is back to serve now. I 
And we got a battle at the net. net. <laughs> All right. I thought it was just me and your brother that did that, but apparently not. Set up for a spike, and we're going to have a little touch over. Going for two that time. Just not going for the third. Good block attempt. Good dig. Good it's going to go over. Oh. But the spike comes down. Who was that? Number, Number 29. 29. Emma Lee Rouser just got up there and put that ball straight down. And West Branch could not recover off of that one, which I don't blame him. <laughs> you saying you can't block that? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> Served by 14, dug up by 11. Set. Spiked over 21. Got another set. Number 31. Oh, good touch. Oh, got to chase it out, but not going to make it there in time. Number 31, Williams. She just seems to get that kill for Homer Center. Number 14, still back to serve. Frazier Grace. A good cross. Spike attack. Ooh. Good up. A free ball sent right out. Out of bounds. With those free balls, I just see you need to just. Keep them in the court. Is that what you need to do? Is yeah. that the objective of this game? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Number 21 about to serve for West Branch. Brooklyn Myers. Good serve right to the middle. A great pass by number 18. Hard spike. Looks like a free ball going over. Free ball. Let's see if West Branch can put this ball down. Oh. Looks like a little miscommunication. Another free ball. Feeding them. Good spike attempt. A good block touch. Oh, Hard spike. Number, number 31. 31. Williams again with the kill. She seems like a powerhouse. I don't know if you can say that word on YouTube. Powerhouse? No, kill. Oh, oh. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Number 31, Williams, back to serve. It's okay, Joe will yell at me if you can't. It's volleyball terminology. A little dive dig. attempt. Free ball. A short free ball. Learning my volleyball terms. Good, I'm proud. 13, a nice up. I feel like you've been trying to teach me for years now, so. <laughs> we have a whistle. Something happened. There is a net violation from Homer Center. So the point goes to West Branch. So she went over the net, is what you're telling me? She touched the net. She touched it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Cannot touch the net. Nope. All that right. is not allowed. Got it. Number 13, Croyle, back to serve for West Branch. You know, in high school, I could touch the net. Well... Gym class. That <laughs> block out of bounds. The libero number 28 is back to serve for Homer Center. We do not have a 28 on our roster. <laughs> Apologies. And she gets an ace serve just grabbing that back line. Okay, can you explain what a libero is? Um, for the casual viewer like me. <laughs> libero goes in for usually their middle hitters and will stay back row the whole time to pass. There's different roles when it comes to it as well. So they never go up front? Nope, never go up front. Well, up front's where I like to go. Yeah, but the liberos are usually the little ones. A good diving attempt by number 28. Just couldn't get that ball up. And the libero on West Branch also goes back to serve now. Number 11. Oh. We don't. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Our apologies. Huh? A good back that, row attempt. That looked deep. Just a little deep. Number 11 still back to serve. Scoreboard issues. Apologies, folks. We will get it figured out. A good float serve. Wow. I just died. Another back row attempt just out. 
Number 31 doesn't seem to believe it. Has to have a word with her coach over it. 31, one of our nameless girls, I believe. Oh, that's Summer City. We have her. Do you, do you pronounce that extra E? Is it Megan? Williams? Number 31, Williams. <laughs> We're going with Megan for now. I'm just going to say Williams. A good up by the libero. Another tip and a good diving attempt by Homer Center, but just going to get that ball up. Number one is going back in to serve for West Branch, Kyla Keffert. Oh, something's going on on the court down there. Something on the court. We're just going to throw it off to the side. <laughs> just throwing it off. Let him play. A good float serve, but a good up from Homer Center. A big block coming from number three from West Branch, Bella Colino. Number one, again, back to serve for West Branch. Jade, you're doing great. I'm over here focusing on the technical <laughs> side. Just keep it up. Good Another block. Another block from number 33 from West Branch, Katrina Cowder. Looks like a bit of rally here. You caught rally in volleyball? Um, Whenever they start coming back? No. Taking a lead? A rally in volleyball is when the ball keeps going back and forth. Oh. <laughs> it's a rally in baseball. A good up from number one. And a good dump from number 21, Brooklyn Myers. Good effort from the West Branch. And they seem to be getting momentum here. So it's, is it just momentum? It's the momentum swing? Um, what, do you, what do you call a rally in volleyball, Jade? Momentum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Boring term, so we'll let it slide. Good spike. Number 33 with the kill. Katrina Cowder again. And a timeout from Homer Center. Do we cheer timeouts here? Is that, is that a big deal in, in volleyball? Uh, yeah. All right, so what do you think we're talking about, Jade? What's it like inside a huddle? Uh, it depends if you're on the winning side or the losing side at the moment. All right, let's go with the winners first. So West Branch, who's up three, they're probably just getting to little details they could fix or where to target on the court. Where Homer Center, since they're down, they're probably getting maybe yelled out a little bit. Not too harsh because they're not down. Not just a so motivational bad. speech? Yeah, no. They're <laughs> they're probably getting told to go after those tips that seem to be killing them a little bit. Those tips are, are pretty violent. I remember you and uh, another girl on your team like to go up like you're going to spike it and you just gently float it over. <laughs> Got to trick them somehow. Number one is still back to serve for West Branch. A great dig by number 31. Just a little dink, though. Another tip oh. and miscommunication yeah. from Homer Center. Seems like they uh, just wanted to watch it hit the ground. Maybe they're phoning okay. in the set. Why do you keep bumping me? I don't mean to. <laughs> You're making me feel like I'm missing something oh, I need to point out. And I'm like, what, what's going on here? A good up. Let's see. Number three. Uh, a little hard. Deep swing. Just couldn't put it in the court. And so, let's see if Homer Center can get a little bit of momentum. Number 34 for Homer Center back to serve, Kerr Ashland. She does a good float serve. But number 33 from West Branch just gets another kill. She is getting over top of that block. Number three, back to serve for West Branch, Bella Colino.
A good float s short serve. Homer Center can't seem to capitalize off of it. Number 31 swings into the net. Back, Jade. You're doing great. Welcome back. <laughs> and West Branch gets the point. Number three, Tolino still back to serve. You haven't swore or anything, right? You're not like I your brother. Not. Good, mm -mm. good job. Good dig. Double dig. Out of bounds, An though. Ace for number three, Kalino. In this, it seems like West Branch is running away with this set. Yeah, they uh, they certainly turned it around. It was all Homer City early. A touch off the block. Homer centers point. Let's see if they can. Get a, again, get a little bit of momentum. Sorry for bumping you. <laughs> just want to sit closer to me. I get it, dude. <laughs> Number 18 for Homer Center back to serve. That is Fabin. What a technique. Out of bounds. Too flashy, maybe? Whatever works for you works. What did you do to serve, Jade? I did a little... I do three bounces. Oh, we know. And I wipe my hands. We made fun of you for it every time. I have to. <laughs> it's just my routine. It was definitely a routine. Exactly the same every time. It was kind of impressive, actually, that you could do it the same way every time. <laughs> if I don't get it right, then I don't know if I'll get my serve in. <laughs> Number 31. Another hard. kill. She, she has a cannon on her. <laughs> Glad I'm not on court. You want to be able to get that up? It scares me. <laughs> Number 14, Homer Center, Frazier Grace, back to serve. Oh, you getting the names down. <laughs> Much more gentle type of serve. It, I say as it goes out as of the it back. goes out, yes. I mean, it was, it was a lot less flashy. That's what I was trying to go with there. Number 21, back to serve. Number four, Fairbanks in for Homer Center. And number 15, Sh Shingle Decker? <laughs> yeah, Shingle Decker. In for West Branch. Number 21, back to serve. Oh. Good up. Out. They, they did their best. Yeah. Just out. Since we don't have a scoreboard, it is uh, 2013 in favor of West Branch. I guess I can start just updating that like I would in <laughs> football. It's 2013. This is 20 serving 13. A good float serve. Aggressive swing from the back row. And she gets a kill. So Number 18, I think that was. Is it still a kill if it hits off somebody? Yes, it's still a kill, Shrek. Right. <laughs> Learning. Number 18, Fabin. Fabin, Fabin. I think it's Fabin. Fabin. Elena, Fabin. Elenia. Extra eye in there. Good up Quick by hit by 18. 18. Oh, good cover by number 18. Number 34, 34 for the kill up. attempt. Number 13, West Branch. This is a good rally that we have going on. See who will be able to get that point. Good up. Number four, saving okay. it. And a free ball is sent. Oh, that might have been out, but they played it. Good up by number 18 again. Potential. Little roll shot. Oh. oh, and Homer Center wins that long rally. I know for from past experience, long rallies beat your body up, and you get tired quickly. <laughs> so I can imagine how these girls are feeling right now. Maybe you should run a few laps, Jade. Uh, I'm not a big cardio girl, personally. <laughs> yeah, I used to run cross country. I'm not a big cardio guy. A good ace serve from number 31, Williams. That just dropped. Got 16, serving 20 now. Homer Center seems to be picking up a little bit more momentum. Another good serve, but it was a good up. A oh. nice cross there. Free ball. Let's see if West Branch does anything. A great uh. swing from number 13. 
fifteen Croyle. Twenty one serving sixteen. The sets go to twenty five, right? Yes. Okay. Besides um, unless it's the fifth set. Fifth set goes to fifteen. Is there a reason for that? Um couldn't ask. I might couldn't tell you. Because you're too tired? No. <laughs> I slept good last night. Af no, I mean like on the court. Oh, you, sorry. you said you get tired <laughs> after a rally. Yeah. Not enough cardio to go no. that full fifth set? No. Served by the libero, sorry. Still don't have her name. And number Yes. Yeah, number we don't... three hits it just long. The libero number twenty eight is still back to serve for Homer Center. Eighteen twenty one. Back row attack. Good up by the libero, number 28. Set in the middle, and the ball is kept alive. A little miscommunication between the setter and number 15. Homer Center is seems to be getting a little bit of momentum. Number 33 in for West Branch, Katrina Cowder. And the libero is back in, number 11, for them as well. Number 28 still back to serve. A nice pass. And the ball is just long. The score now is 20 serving 21. Timeout, West Branch. Homer Center is gaining momentum here to keep this game alive. <clears throat> Another timeout. What do you think through discussing down there? Um, this time, West Branch might be on the winning side, but they have let off, let up a lot of points, so they're probably just being told to get their stuff together and close out on this set. Homer Center are probably getting a little bit of praise, but to remain focused. So they can, so they can get this set. Number twenty-eight, the libero for Homer Center, still back to serve. Sorry, I'm in and out on you, Jade. It's okay. Playing you handle your first volleyball game alone, you know. A good serve. Good and chase. A free ball is sent to Homer Center. A little dink. A good up by number 18. Number 34. Oh. A little miscommunication again from the middle. It's the wrong direction, Jade. It's the wrong direction. It is. We got 21 all. Homer Center came back from being down 21 8, 17, I think it was. Yeah, it was around, maybe 16 even. Yeah, they're on a big on a, point on a run. run. Stop! <laughs> Cut it out. Number 28 still back to serve. Nice pass. A good up by number four. A little dink over the net. Just crossing over. And I handle it. a kill from number... I can't see her jersey. Number 13, I think it was. But the libero could not keep it 13 up. 13 on the back? Yeah. Yep. He swung. Back row. Little Marley Crow. Good pass. A back row attack. Also, I was informed it is Megan. It is Megan. It is Megan. Okay, good. Yep. There's a name you were saying wrong, too, but I, I've got to find there, it. I'm not shocked. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Monster. There's a little bit of fighting here on the court. There was yeah. a back row attack from Homer Center. What? And the ball went out, but the refs are saying there was a touch. Homer, I meant West Branch is saying that nobody touched it. This could be a big turning point in the game if the point goes towards West Branch. 
looking for the name you said wrong. Grace Frazier. Not Frazier, Grace. Then I got yelled at for flirting with you, allegedly. Ew. I know, right? <laughs> and there is a touch from West Branch rewarding the point to Homer Center, making it 22-22. West Branch is still trying to fight it. Thing about high school, you don't get challenges. So, whatever goes. Oh, why goes. not? Why not? No, why not? It's too complicated for high school. Good up. A back row attack from number 13. A good up. Great cover by number 14. A miscommunication from Homer Center. You One. know, there's not a lot of time to communicate on the court, okay? Uh, the whole sport is about communication. 23.2. Like, we always like to say ball don't lie, so maybe that ball was not touched on that conflicting point. But I guess we'll never know. A little free ball attempt. A good up. And just can't save the ball. That, Set point. That ball looked like it was going to get hit like so much harder than it did. <laughs> Like, I thought the girl blocking was, her fingers were just going to break. That's why I do not like blocking, personally, as well. You're too short to block. I can get up there. <laughs> Good dig. Good up by the libero, number 11. Up, not dig? Same thing. Okay. So I'll make sure. I'll correct you. Um... West Branch takes the first set, 25-22, with that dink right over the net. Number 33, number looks familiar. Just a little bit. I don't know why, though. Not, not sure. Can't put a finger on it. So what did you notice that uh, Homer Center has to change up here for the second set? I think Homer Center needs to work on their communication a little bit. There was has been multiple miscommunications between the teammates and they need to start picking up those tips they keep letting them fall short which is really hurting them but West Branch is using that to their advantage because they see that Homer Center is not picking up those tips Okay, I've, I figured it out, Jade. What? Homer Center. Okay. Has some names that are backwards. Oh, is that supposed to be Grace Frazier? Yes. Okay. And number 34, I'm assuming, is that supposed to be, supposed to be Ashlyn, Ashlyn Kerr? Yeah. And Katie Fairbanks? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure why some of them are backwards and some of them aren't. I didn't make it. <laughs> Blaming you. Nope. All right, so so you covered Homer Center, I assume. I had to take off my headset again. What, what's a West Branch guy do? Just keep on keeping on or any adjustments from the pro over here? <laughs> <laughs> um. Honestly, I think West Branch is playing pretty well. Uh, just clean it up a little bit. But if they keep playing like they are, I think they could take their these sets and win this game. But if Homer Center picks up those tips and. West Branch might have to make a little bit of adjustment. So we'll see how the second set plays out. I think we have scoreboard. All right, we have, we have a scoreboard fixed. Finally, yay. We, we did it, yeah. Way to, way to talk away from your mic. I had to take a drink. Just to hear. Excuse me. Talk to myself. 
So I'll make sure to still get that update. Oh, okay, I gotta do it from... Girls are getting back on the court as the second set is about to start. Who's... it seems to be West Branch's serve. Jade, why is there a sub at the very beginning of every set? It's not a sub, it's the libero switch. Jade, why is there a libero <laughs> switch at the beginning of every set? Because the libero needs to go in for the middle. I don't know why. That was a great up. A good set. And West Branch can't seem to get to that ball. Number... Who was that with the kill? 18? Maybe? So who's ser or the girl up front? Girl up front is 18. Yeah. Yes. I think it was her with the kill. It might be, yeah. A good pass by number 11. A tip into the net by number 33, Homer Center. Seen that before. Number 33, hand into the net. <laughs> yeah, Rude. Number 12, back to serve. A good up. And a nice run by... Slam that one West down. Branch. Yes. Number one going in for number 18. This is Kyla Keffert back to serve. Float serve, but Homer Center is able to pass it. A big block at the net, and free ball is sent over. A tip which is picked up. And number 33 puts the ball down for West Branch. That is Katrina Cowder. I seem to be saying her name a lot. It's, it feels. Normally means pretty good player. Yes, I'm thinking that. Served into the net. Homer Center's ball. Number 34 back to serve. Ashlyn Kerr. We got that right this time. Good job. <laughs> In your defense, they are. Some are yes. backwards. Good dig into the spike. And number 33 with the kill again. Katrina Cowder. Should have been keeping her stats to see how many kills she's getting. It's a good way to get arrested. A lot of kills. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. Number three back to serve. A good pass. A good set to the middle. A big block by number 33. Big block indeed. Homer Center can't recover after that one. Number three, Bella Colino still back to serve for West Branch. A good pass by the libero. And 31, just out. Looked like it was almost tipped. I thought it was too, but I'm really bad at judging. Three, Colino still serving. Good pass by the libero. Back row attack, and a good up by number 11 on West Branch side. What a block. Number I, 18. Good block, number 18. I honestly couldn't tell if that was on West Branch side or Homer Centers. That's why I shut my mouth for a second. <laughs> <laughs> number 18, Fabin. Serve the ball, sorry. And number 13. I was just into the net. Right into the net, like you said. But I'm, I'm catching on to the volleyball thing. Good. Number 18. Maybe one of these weekends you'll consider me for your tournament team. Oh, okay. <laughs> A good ace serve by number 18, Fabian. I'm tall. I bet I could block a good spike. Yeah. 
But you should see how hard some of these people hit. Not worried about it. Okay. I believe in you. I'm competitive. Yeah, that, that's all that matters. From that A serve to a serve into the net. You know, it's like that one Katy Perry song. Hot and cold. <laughs> Number 33, Cowder, back to serve. A good float serve. 18 gets that ball up. 14, a little cross-court action. 13 with a roll shot. And number 29, into the net. Homer Center can't capitalize off of that roll shot. And it seems like... Say, hey, did you know there's a net there? <laughs> West Branch is... <laughs> student section is being very loud and motivating for West Branch, I bet. A tight set, a good cover. Oh. How did you, uh... And a lift. What? How do you feel at home games whenever you had, uh... What, what did the Riverhawks call it? The student section? It's just the bird's I, nest I or something? Know. I don't... The hawk's Hawk nest? nest? Um... I liked student section. I wish our student section was louder. A big block by number 10 and 21 up in the net. Number 10, <laughs> Micaiah Mack. A good A by number Myers. 18. I don't know who got the Baby. touch on that, so it's a 33 it's serving. Team effort. Team effort. Sometimes good. you just got to call it. <laughs> Good block from Homer Center. Sometimes I forget the block. It's not a touch. Yeah. Tipped. It Sorry. looks like it. Oh, that flag means? Yes. Yeah. And when the hand goes on the flag, that's a tip. West Branch leading 9-7. to seven. Number 14 for Homer Center back to serve. Grace. Frazier. Ooh. A good kill, big kill by number 13 on West Branch, Marley Croyle. Number four in for Homer Center, Michaela Fairbanks. You're, you're doing a great job. Thank you. Saying, Why am I even here? You could do this without me. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> 21 back to serve. Good dig. A roll shot from number 18. A roll shot from number 13 on West Branch. Big kill by number 31. 31. Megan. Megan Williams. So, Jade, what, uh, what influences the decision if you're in the back, if you're going to do like a, a spike style hit or a, a free ball? We are always encouraged to hit the ball. But if you're in really bad like position to the ball, a nice up. The ball is out because I hit the antenna. But we are always encouraged to hit the ball. But if you're in bad position where you can't swing and get like a bad swing off of it, just send it over with your platform. Get a little platform. free. Yeah, your arms. The free ball platform. Okay, wrist. Number thirteen. Marley Croyle back to serve for West Branch. That's nice jumping serve. Little roll. Oh, I honestly thought that was four touches. I was going to say, so if they both touch at the same time, it's only one touch? No. I thought both of them touched So it. that should have probably been four yeah. touches. Okay. I also thought that, but... We're not reffing. That's right. A little miscommunication on Homer Center's part. The serve is out just long. And the libero is back to serve, number 28, for Homer Center. She has a name somewhere. Somewhere. I'm sorry, but I can't. It's find not on it. the roster. Good dig. Nice up. Good short serve, though. Nice touch. Ooh. Good up. By number four. Good rally. This is a good rally. Good job. 
hit into the net by West Branch. Homer Center takes that point from that long rally. <laughs> Somebody just yelled so loud. <laughs> Serve out of bounds. Lost stomping now. <laughs> Number 11 for West Branch. Back to serve. She is also our nameless libero. It's the liberos. They just don't have names. Good block from number 33, Katrina Cowder. I don't even have to look at my roster. You're catching the hang yeah. of it. I'm like this in football by the second quarter. I know everybody's name pretty much. Volleyball is a little different. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to memorize a lot of these girls' names. No, I have faith in you. What's uh, number 28's name? Okay, we don't have number 28. That, uh... That hit over there. Just well, didn't, didn't go how she wanted it to. No. <laughs> a little push from Homer Center to get them that point. 14-11 in favor of West Branch. Good pass and a tip. And, and like I said earlier, if they don't start picking up those tips. Hey, good good effort though by uh, yes, number twelve. Hannah Aron. <clears throat> number one, Kyla Keffert back to serve for West Branch. Nice swing, nice up by number twenty-eight. I just can't seem to get that free ball over. Great dig by her. And a good help by the teammates. But can I get that third ball over? Homer Center seems to be falling a little bit behind. But uh nice dig there. Good set. Spike blocked. And there was a... Uh... No touch off that block. What? No touch. Off the block. In non... Can you explain <laughs> this to me like I'm five? So, Homer Center hit the ball. Yeah. That was their third touch. Yeah. And when they hit it, they also recovered the ball, but the ball didn't go over the net. It Be didn't touch the block. Because of the block? No. What? It touched the net. It didn't touch the oh, other girl's hand. It looked hands. like it touched her hand. Uh... I think it hit the tape, the top tape. Jade, I'm wearing glasses. I'm wearing contacts. <laughs> Apparently contacts are better than glasses. Out of the timeout, let's see if Homer Center can flip this game around. They did a good job last set flipping it around because they are also down. But who knows? Anything can happen. Hey, did you know that Megan Williams is a two time All State selection? Wow. That's probably why you're calling her name a lot. Number 31. See, I didn't even have to look at my roster. Yeah. I'm not shocked. Convince you don't need that. The roster's just there for fun. <laughs> she has a hard swing, and she puts that ball away. Number 14. Oh, 34. My bad. Back to serve and gets an and, ace. Yep. Number 34, Ashlyn Kerr. Look at you, <laughs> figuring out which names are flipped around and whatnot. <laughs> Nice short serve. Good dig. And, oh, and oh. a great up. And oh, what? she was over the net on that second ball. I don't know. Look clean to me. Wow, that was that was a a big call by that ref. Let's give you a uh, flashbacks. The questionable calls. Um. No, because I deal with a lot of questionable calls now. 
So you, like... you deal with calls now? And yeah. your And your volleyball tournaments? Yeah. How official are these tournaments? Not official. No? No. Number eight back to serve. Williams with the up. And number 18. Fabin pushes through that block. Yeah, just uh, right into the two girls' hands and down the net. It's my professional analysis. <laughs> uh, 18 back to serve. A good serve. It's Fabin. And, oh. Side no touch. I didn't think there was a touch. Okay, yeah. Just called a little late. That's all. Did I, did I nail it? Yeah. All good right. Job. Look at that. See? Still learning. And that ball is just long. I got to... I gotta learn all my terms for whenever I enter your volleyball tournament. <laughs> number 33, counter. Back to serve for West number Branch. Number two subbing in for number eight. We're seeing some new faces here. I think. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure how to say number two's name. A kill. Go with number a, 13. Gonna go with Brielle Bainey. I think so. No. Yeah. West Branch is running away. A little roll shot to the other side of the court. And up by number two. 13 with a roll shot. Looks like it was going... A little out, but it's still playing. She calmly got away for her teammate after hitting it up, too. What a block. A big block by 31 at the net. A little Ooh. tip up there. Free ball. Oh. There was a touch. The point goes to West Branch. For a touch. A touch. Yeah. Yes. Like a tip. No. Uh -huh. Not a tip, a touch. A touch. The other girls, like the blocker, touched it. Or yeah. I think it was actually the number 18, the defender. You can't call that a tip? No, it's different. <laughs> number 33, Cowder, gets a, another ace here. What did they say? I don't know. I was trying to listen. I did not understand that. Good serve. A nice pass by number 18. Roll shot by number 14. A big swing. See if it gets... Play the ceiling. Play the ceiling. Wow. <laughs> a free ball. I guess that is allowed. Looks... And it's ran down again. Made Another over. free ball. Uh... Can't be made over the net. You know, Fine. these rallies might be exhausting for them, but it's fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. That's what makes the game of volleyball fun. Timeout. Homer I've... Center. I wish we had the view of what all that ball did on the ceiling. I know. I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> now, how funny would it have been if it came down through the hoop? Is that allowed? I don't know. I don't know. You're either. the one that played. Every gym has different roles. What were your roles? I don't remember. If it hit the wrestling mat thing, it, was it like wasn't two allowed. Two years ago. That was a long time ago. So that was a quick timeout by them. Guess they don't have too much to discuss. Yeah. Comfortable lead. Up a set. Homer Center needs to do something here to make sure they stay in this game. Very good professional analysis. Yep. Do something. Anything. <laughs> Show signs of life. What is this formation? Serve into the net. Boom, that's something. The time out works. Count it. Iced, in their heads. Ice the server. Is that like ice in the kicker in football? Yes. All right. There you go. Number 14. Yeah, if you explain Grace. all the terms in football analogy, I'll get uh, it. I don't know how much I'll help <laughs> me. I, I won't understand half the things I say. Oh. 
I thought there was a touch off the block, but again, not my call. What? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand what just happened. <laughs> the ball was hit out. That's okay. all that matters. Okay, thanks. Number 14, Grace Frazier, still back to serve. Nice set. Oh, and a big kill by number 13, Marley Croyle on West Branch. It's the touch and no touch that's getting me. <laughs> Essentially the touch. I think I got the no touch down. Yeah. But, I mean, that's kind of something. <sighs> Number 21, back to serve for West Branch. <laughs> Brooklyn Myers. A great serve. An ace serve to take the second set. Wow. Yeah, so, um, how do you feel about reverse sweep? I love reverse sweeps. They're so fun to watch. Makes the game exciting. You win over. You know when a reverse sweep isn't exciting though. When when, when you're on the losing side. Whenever you go to root for yeah. somebody and they get reverse swept. Yeah. Yeah, I was just at a pit game a couple weeks ago. Pit was down two sets to none, and they came back with a reverse sweep. The one. Very exciting. Yeah. Last night I was watching Penn State versus Nebraska, which it was a shocking match because Penn. We, everybody thought Nebraska was going to come in and sweep Penn State, but Penn State up two sets, but then Nebraska came back and won the last three sets. You're making it sound like it's a common thing. It's more common than you've realized. <laughs> I just realized that. Will we see it today? Don't, I don't know. know. I do real quick want to give a big thank you to the Lady Wildcats for making this broadcast possible. The collaboration with Homer Center is why we are here. Yes. Thank you, Homer Center. So uh, what do you think they're talking about? Um. Let's start with uh, the losing team this time. They're probably being told to limit their mistakes. Yeah. Start talking more. Um, it's not a lot of time to communicate. But the whole game is communication. <laughs> the ball's coming at you fast. Yeah, but if the ball's coming at you really fast, it should be obvious which girl sh should take it. But if it's a furry ball or like a really slow high ball you gotta talk you gotta say whose ball is it you have time there but not a lot of time nah you still have a lot of time <laughs> just trying to help them out here you know yeah I, yeah Team's coming back out. They're going to do the thing with the Lombero. <laughs> the Lombero switch to start off the game. Yep. 11 goes in for 10 on West Branch side. 28 Cause, goes in for 29. Because they can't just start on the court. Nope. That would make too much sense. Yep. Exactly. It's like in football. If the quarterback just waited on the sideline until the play was about to be called. I don't understand. Good set. <laughs> Just I mean, trust me on this one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm trusting you. Free ball is set in a... Oh, just makes it over the net by number 13. Number 34 with a kill attempt, but just long. So nobody touched that. Nobody touched that. Mm, yep. No touch. All right. Number one, Keffert, back to serve. A nice pass by the libero. That's the most nonchalant spike I ever saw. Is she left-handed? 
Yes. She is. Wow. <laughs> a big block by number eighteen. She just 18. did everything. <laughs> Babin. Babin. Babin just did everything there. Yes. <laughs> Don't need communication when you can do it yourself. They're probably saying, like, mine, I got it, but we just can't hear. <laughs> what, are you saying there are, like, big headsets on that block my hearing out from the court? Just a little bit. A little what? tip. A little tip. Found the soft spot in the zone. That spot has been getting them a lot. Calling us like a football game. It's going to make sense to me eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, back to Sir Bella Colino. Number 18, powers through that block again. All right, so in volleyball, it's a lot of touch tonight on the serve. Yes. Uh, I'm just going to say yes and keep it there because sometimes no, but not in high school volleyball. It's always allowed. Okay. Well, we're in high school, so. Yeah, that's why I said I was going to keep it there. Well, we'll discuss the no's later. Yeah. The roll shot by number 29. And another dink by number 13. And Homer Center just can't seem to pick that up. Again, I think a little miscommunication. Number 33, Calder back to serve. Good up by number 18. Number 31. It's a little pushover. Great pass. Let's see. Oh, big and kill by number 31, Megan Williams. Maybe uh, feed her the ball a little more. I think so. I'm on Seems like she's like an important name. She's done important stuff. <laughs> are they saying mine? I <laughs> think they are mimicking seagulls. From Finding Nemo. Good up by number 18. Number 31. Again. I think that was out. But not my call. Did they put it in or out? They called it in? in? I, th I thought so. But Then you said out and I got confused. I'm really bad at line judging anyway. so. Yeah. Explains a lot. <laughs> number 14. Still back to serve for him. Her center, Grace Frazier. Nice set. She's... Nice, soft hands. That sounds so weird. <laughs> I was just going to let you talk. I didn't know where you were going with this. Good. Up. A little free ball sent over. And in that same area. Wow. Well, they might want to cover the center of the court. Someone needs to drop off and take that. Take Fairbanks control. subbing in. 21 Myers back to serve for West Branch. Little back and forth game we got on going on right now. 18 with the back row attack. Oh, what? What? Net violation what? from number 31 on Homer Center. What? What do you mean, what? <laughs> What's a net violation? She was in the net. She touched the net. Does that make getting, sense? Getting too strict with these net rolls. Oh, uh, no. It's I, it's more of a safety thing. Number 13. Nice up. Oh. <laughs> oh? Wow. It seems like West Branch is having fun with this. Seeing how they're celebrating points. I clearly was not paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> Serve into the net. Homer Center's point. I'm still trying to comprehend a net violation over here. She touched the net. What I'm is there to I'm comprehend? I'm just trying to comprehend why that's so bad. <laughs> Number 31 back to serve, Megan Williams. Number 13, West Branch, has been swinging a lot. 
She has a good hard swing. Tried to sneak that over. Oh. And a bit. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> Big block yeah. by Micaiah Mack. She turned around and said M no. Made it look effortless. Well, she looks tall. Do we have heights? Five foot nine. Uh, I can only imagine being five nine. How tall are you? Five three. You are short. Number 10, again, Micaiah Matt. I know. <laughs> I thought I was just messing with you earlier, but then now that you say your height. Yeah. <laughs> Micaiah Mack, back up at the net. Get that little swipe. Number, who is wow. that? 34 with the little tip. Free ball. Let's see if they can use that. A big swing by number 29, Emma Lee Rouser. Go Warriors. That's what they're saying in the crowd now. Mm -hmm. At least one person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Libero back to serve. Nice That's up. quite the angle to spike the ball from. Number 18 takes the ball from the center. Big Good block. block. Round two. Tip. Oh. Oh. Double, double they touch. Caught a double. Oh, they caught a lift. A lift. <laughs> Your face. I'm surprised they called that lift. It wasn't that obvious. I would have let it go. A lift. Yeah, you can't lift the ball. Good pickup. It didn't look like a lift. But can't capitalize. Yeah. Oh. Look at it. Oh. I think net. Net violation. Oh, we got something else. I don't understand volleyball formations either. <laughs> <laughs> In between sets, you know, if we get another set, we're uh, we're gonna have to have you explain volleyball formations for everyone. Uh, that might be a little difficult. Nope. Number, You're doing it. <laughs> number thirty-four, Ashlyn Crow back to serve still for Homer Center. Nice up by number thirty-four as well. And, and a kill Homer by Center. number eighteen, Faben. Back in front. Fabian really stepping it up this uh, set. Yes, she is. She had a little rough ending that last set. I could see that she was getting frustrated, but she is definitely picking it up, like you said. I serve by Kerr. They, they're starting to pick up those tips. And a oh. big swing! By number 31, Megan Williams. So aggressive. She had no one up there with her. That was not gentle. No, she she wanted that kill, and she got it. I feel like I would have sent that way deep. <laughs> would have got, my eyes would have lit up way too much. Nice up again by her. Or something silly like a net violation. Yeah, that's what tends to happen. And a kill by number 33, Cowder, from West Branch. So back and forth a set. Makes it exciting. Number three, serving. Who is that? Bella Colino. Serving deep. Serves are really crucial in this game. To make a, or break a game. I'd say. Number 18, back to serve. Fabin. New formation. Ooh, good oh, good touch. Yep. Couldn't get it off that touch. Off the block. Those are always hard. Sometimes blocking seems to hurt a team. 
Yeah. 15 subbing in for West Branch. Allison Shingle Decker. It's a fun last name. Shingle Decker. Guarantee she hates it though. Probably. Such a long last name. Nice kill by number 31, Megan Williams, again. Speaking from experience of having a long name, it's terrible. <laughs> Yeah, I have a shorter name. Yeah. I appreciate it. Must be so nice. It is. Number 14, Grace Frazier, back to serve for Homer Center. Good pickup. Yep. And a battle Bad on the net. Nobody touched it, apparently. Number 29, blocked that ball just out. Number 13 with that kill technically it looks like every block and kill just the nets being touched <laughs> so i don't understand that violation it's okay looks like we're setting up the ginyu force here good up number 31 little slight dink over the net free ball set and they're feeding her they oh. are feeding number 31 listen I may not know much about volleyball, but in the beginning of the set, I said, what do they have to do? Feed 31. Feed Megan. I could be a coach. Just don't ask me to explain any <laughs> of the rules. <laughs> Guys, Coming I don't know what's happening. Just give that girl the ball. <laughs> Coming from the one who doesn't know rotations. <laughs> They're setting up, like, pride pattern alpha or something. <laughs> West Branch. These are very deep out. cut nerd comments <laughs> so i'm not gonna understand a lot of yeah <laughs> i i referenced uh dragon ball z and teen titans in the past three minutes and i just don't expect you to get either of those yeah sorry what do you think is going on in the huddles right now yeah so uh homer city is like hey feed megan <laughs> and then uh West Branch like, hey, don't hit near Megan. <laughs> it's my professional analysis. And then good. clap. And then clap. Yeah. <laughs> that was really good. I do respect how motivational volleyball players seem to be. They always seem to be in good spirits. They'll like hug after giving up a point, which I would never do in soccer, but <laughs> You gotta keep your spirits high somehow. Yeah, no, we didn't do that back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Number 31, Megan, back to serve. Just making it over the net. And miscommunication by West Branch. Don't know what happened, though. I don't know either. I genuinely don't. Got a new for four in the back. One runs up front for fun. Big block, Good block. by number 29, Emily Rouser. And a random point given. A double contact call. Okay. That's what you're here for, the technical <laughs> terms. If you you got to realize, if you weren't here, there have been like five or six times where I'd just be like, yeah, a random point was given for fun. <laughs> nice serve by number 31. Good up by number 18. And a free ball is sent. Oh, just misses. Me and your brother did that a lot whenever we went to your games. Like, anytime we didn't understand the call, we were just like, yeah, just give him points for fun. <laughs> Why not? Oh, geez, Louise. Number 13, back to serve. <laughs> Marley Croyle. Well, I mean, if you don't understand, what are you going to do? I don't know. Let's the Ginyu Force formation. Officially dubbing it that. Ball is served out. What did you just say? The Ginyu Force formation. Well, I don't even know what that They're is. They're posing like the Ginyu Force. What is that? It's from Dragon Ball C. Yep. <laughs> Number 28, the Libero, back to serve. Still don't have an eight. Good serve. Her name is Libero. And a good touch. Good effort by four. four. Michaela Fairbanks. It's... Just let it happen. <laughs> Number 11, West Branch's libero, also nameless. 
Back to serve. Liberos don't get names. Number 18 with a big swing. They play the sport strictly for their team. They don't want recognition. That's my theory. I'm sticking <laughs> to it. Good kill. A great cut by number 34. Cut? Yes, she cut the ball. <laughs> she turned the ball down the angle instead of hitting it down the line. Okay. Yeah, just act like you got it. <laughs> Oh, she stepped way over that line. I saw that one. Good. You understand why they got that point then? Yeah. That rule happened in gym class. <laughs> I can't say any other rules happen in gym class. Yeah. Gym class volleyball was always something. <gasps> Served into the net. That is not something you want to be doing. Not the ideal. Game is... Going in the opposite way that you want it to go. <laughs> Have you ever watched The Office? Yes. Yeah, you just did the opposite of what Kevin does. What? What's the opposite? What? Nice push by number 33, Cowder. What is... Why say more word when few words do trick? <laughs> I've, I haven't finished The Office. What? Yeah, I think I'm... I don't know if, what season I'm on. Well, there are nine seasons. I think I'm on seven or eight. Okay. Jim and Pam already got married. Yeah. Yeah, that's like season five. A serve from number eight, Skyler. It looked like the girls on Homer Center were playing dodgeball there. Like, they were just trying to <laughs> buy the kid. Good serve by number eight. How do you say her last name? Skyler Hebble. Hebble? Hebel. Nice pass by the libero. Number 31. Yep. Big kill. Almost ran down. That would have been impressive, but number 31. Still waiting for it to go through the, through the hoop. <laughs> Everybody will go nuts in the gym if it goes to the hoop. First set point for Homer Center. See if they take this. Great serve, but Good a dig. get up. Block? Nope. Lost track of that ball. Number 33, Powder back to serve for West Branch. Trailing behind. Eighteen with the good up. Thirty one. Good up by number two, Bainey. Free ball. Let's see what they do with it. Saying up thirty one. Of course they are, because she works. ends the set ends just the like that. Well. It's always nice to have a player on the team that you could just trust. And as we can tell, they trust Megan Williams. Rightfully so. Well, can't say I blame them. Exactly. I agree with that. I mean, just watching that set, she took over. Number 18 also seemed to step it up in that set. Like Made some really talking. good adjustments, yes. 18 seemed to be covering that zone that uh, West Branch was hitting an awful lot. Mm -hmm. um, it, looked like, it looked like her and the libero yeah. were very often stepping up for whenever they went for the tip over the, the block. If they keep picking those up, this game might end up in a reverse sweep. More common than you think. Yeah, it is. A lot of random sounds coming from I, the crowd. I don't even know where they're coming back, from. Back of hyenas over there. <laughs> I'm assuming that's from the student section somewhere. I would imagine, yeah. Louder in the hawk's nest. Always. <laughs> Back in my day, we had the Red Army. Katanning. Katanning. It's no longer. No, no. It makes me feel old. Hate to break it to you. <laughs> it's just because there's gray in my beard. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh... I think Home Center might have picked up a lot of momentum there. 
figured out a game plan that works. Figured out where they were attacking. And I think that's the most important part. So they they shut down that that little loft loft touch, if you will. A loft touch. Never, yep. I've never heard it <laughs> described like that. How do you describe it? Tip. <laughs> like my turn better. Doing a little. The bar is switched now. Number 11 back to serve for, oh, West Branch? Do they have serve? Or does, I thought, what? Is it set number four already? Wow. It is set number four. <laughs> That's what happens. Number three sets go by, Jade. I thought it was set number three. <laughs> that makes sense. If West Branch is serving, number 11, <laughs> still don't have a name for her as well. Good up. Oh. Yep. A double. 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 Okay. Just. Uh, yeah. Just, yeah. That's a hard ball to set anyway. And that was just a uh, not great touch. Oh. Bench spinning. <laughs> A serve, as the student section is cheering. Yeah, I was trying to understand what they were spelling, but a little muffled. I wonder why. Nice pass. Good set. 34 pushes through that block. Number 34 is Ashlyn Kerr. Homer Center gets their first point of the set. Hannah Arone about to serve. Ugh, Into the net. Short. Number one, Keffert going back to serve for West Branch. I understand this one. There's a net there. <laughs> Classic. 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 Yes. Good pass by number 14. I assume there's a call off there. Communication. Oh, they have yes, to communicate. Yes. So one girl stepped out of the way. Yes. That's what you've been yes, preaching all game. Did. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> yeah. I see. I pay attention. Number 30, 34, Ashlyn. Her back to serve. And she gets an ace. What a rough touch. This didn't really sit the way she wanted it to. Nope. Not at all. Another little float. What 33 just swinging above that block. A good high swing. Counter. Hammered it down. Number three, Bella Colino back to serve. Great good float dig. serve. She's back row. But nobody's going to say anything. Oh. Good touch by the libero. But just can't pull that ball back in. Easier said than done, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it me. is. Good pass by the libero. And number 31. 31. Wow. Powers through. Do you think that hurt? Um, did it hit the ground first? Or she, did no, it hit she her took body? it right to the gut. Oh, yeah, that probably knocked the wind out of her a little bit. <laughs> like, she looks so unfazed, though. That's what you gotta do. It's 18 serves. Nice block touch. Going off two. Tight ball. And nobody seems to go for that ball. More miscommunication is coming off of West Branch side. That's what hurt them in that last set. Big run up serve. Oh, they went back to it. There's that spot. They went right back to it. We we saw it coming. 
number 33, Cowder, back to serve. Swing by number 14. A good up by number 1. Number 14 just sends it right back over. And number 13, Marley Croyle capitalizes and grabs that cross line. Good swing by her. She's been swinging pretty well this game, I will say. Might be a little exhaustion coming into this fourth set. In between uh, plays, we've got some hands on these. Killed by number 31, Megan I meant Megan Williams, my bad. Um, <laughs> yes, I agree with you with the ex exhaustion. I can see it in the players as well. You can probably feel it. <laughs> Bring you back to your, your heyday. Nice set. And a kill by number 13 again. Royal. Yeah, nobody really diving for it over there in Homer City that time. It's the exhaustion. <laughs> Number 21, back to serve. Still giving a little five, so very motivated sport. <laughs> High spirits. They could ha possibly have another set after this, so they have to be in good spirit. Oh, oh. Miss, oh. <laughs> Miscommunication. They, they may have been hoping a little bit there that uh, the ref was not counting. Playing to the whistle. <laughs> nice float serve by number 21. Free ball. Can West Branch use this ball? And the set is a little off. But number 13 says it does not matter and gets the kill anyway. <laughs> Sometimes it just doesn't matter, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Meyer still serving. Oh, she's back row. I don't know. She's front row. I lied. They picked up that little campfire spot, and number twenty-eight. The, the campfire spot. Or twenty-nine. Sorry, Emily Rouser gets a kill. Twenty-eight is their little barrow. That's what that's what you call it, campfire, because if it just drops in the middle of everybody, everybody's like around. It's, okay. Yeah. All <laughs> right. Nice pass. Roll. Eighteen gets the ball up. Number thirty-four keeps powering through that block. Oh. Ashley Kerr with the kill. Megan serving. Ooh, I, that, that looked yep. low. <laughs> That's why I made noises. Oh. Good control. Good tip, taking out that setter. Number 13. Got blocked. Into the net. Or off the block. Couldn't tell. I'm just going to say it's a block because it gives some credit. Yeah, give them credit. I always like to say that as well. Take it. You blocked that. <laughs> nice swing by number 10. Makaya Mack. Good reactions by that ref. Head almost taken <laughs> off. I probably would have just let it hit me. <laughs> no workers comp shade <laughs> number 13 Marley Croyle back to serve 34 with the pass and a free ball is sent got up by number 31 and another free ball is sent over to West Branch And number 18, Haley Woodling, 
What the kill? What's or Armor Center with a pretty good lead here. West Branch gonna try to eat into it though. Again with the mines. Oh. Yeah. But ceiling bring wow, that ball back down get. fast. Able to play it over. Oh. But it is blocked out. Great attempt by the West Branch girls, but oh, wait. Sorry. <laughs> Number twenty eight, the Libero back to serve for what Homer Center, my bad. Good set. Great up by number 31. Bit over. Another free ball sent. Quick spike. Out. And the ball is out. The girls were looking for a touch call, but their that ball was not touched, I don't think. Number eight serving. Olivia Stabolia. Okay. We got a name. Folks, and a great up by Olivia. Good up by number 34, cover in that spot. And a big and swing. swing. Powering through the block again. Tying it up. Number 34, Ashlyn Kerr. Number one, Kyla Keffert going in for... Number 18, Haley Woodling. Set. Short sets. Sets are quick. As Cowder's subbing in for uh, West Branch. Lila Barrow, that I don't have the name of serving now. Number 11. Number 18 back in for West Branch, Haley Woodling. A nice float. Number 18 with a little dink. Nice pass by number 28, Olivia. A big wind up layer for. Uh... Nice pass. Oh. Oh, slipped. Double hit. Yes, good job. Can't do that. You cannot. <laughs> Crowd land them now. Out. It's a free point, you know. Yeah, again, that's where serves, missing your serves can be crucial to this game. Number 12, back to serve, Hannah around. Tip, good cover. 18 with the push, but the libero gets it up with that one arm. And out. And back even. Number 12, Arone, still back to serve. That dropped, wow. Yeah, dug up pretty well, though. Although it goes out on the free ball. Sometimes with the free ball, people be doing too much. We can't be doing too much. <laughs> now we got the timeout. West we, Branch. We cheer for timeouts out. here. Hummer Center seems to be gaining momentum here. West Branch needs to focus up if they're going to pull away with this set. Yeah, I mean, uh, Homer Center up by, by one right now. Trying to get that reverse sweep. Trying to pull it off. Trying to make it more common than you would think. <laughs> well, if they want to win, they don't have an option for the, <laughs> if it's going to be a reverse sweep or not. Yeah. Oh, hey. If they make it set five, it's only 15 points. Yes. Which, playing to 15, 
It sounds like it goes quick. Yeah. It's never fun. Is it one by two? Yeah, of course, yes. As it should be. As it should, yes. <laughs> Arone going back in to serve. Nice serve. The 13 gets set up. Great up by number 31. A little dink to middle back there. Good up again. Another one. And Straight she gets over. up to there swing. You go. Way to be aggressive. And she is all over the ball in the back row. Ooh. Little push. Go. Uh -oh. oh. Good hustle. Great uh -oh. defense by number 31. The well, hustling's making Jade a fan. <laughs> it's always nice to see the team not give up on the ball. Hey, that's Megan Williams. She's had a great game so far. Absolutely. A nice swing Damn. by number 34, Ashlyn Kerr. Ashlyn goes back to serve. Oh. 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 What happened? The light? There's confusion. That girl, the down ref called it in. I meant the line judge called Both it in. Both line judges called it in. I was very confused. <laughs> That's what happens whenever you have a net ref that doesn't do the YMCA. <laughs> Number 34, back to serve. A nice short serve, but the libero picks it up. Number 33, Powder, with a big kill, trying to get momentum for her team. You may now serve it now, West Branch, after you sub. <laughs> Number 8, Skylar Hebel. Hebel? Hebel? Hebel. Okay. If you say it with enough confidence, it's right no matter what. Okay. Well, I was saying some girls' names earlier. Backwards. Yeah, with confidence, and that didn't make it right. Well, it's only whenever I say it's right. That's, <laughs> that's right with confidence. We make the rules up as we go. <laughs> Pebble, another serve. Off the net. Great hold on 31 this part, though. Megan gets it, then goes around her teammates for the spike. But was it enough? Miscommunication. Who's going to take that ball? they got to figure that out. Hopes of their first sweep slipping away. That ball is out. out. Good dodge. Playing some dodgeball. Yeah. Why are the five rolls of dodgeball, Jade? I have no idea. Got a movie for you to watch later. I've watched the movie. Got a movie for you to watch again. <laughs> Number 18, Fabian, back to serve. Was she nice turning up. out? Oh, oh, that's a great. One-handed set. I thought it been, could have been a lift, but it was not. It was perfect for the middle. I mean, it looked like the lift play called earlier, but... What? in Penn State. <laughs> Where? Doing... Penn State does the we are... Penn State yeah. chant, and then you, they say, like, thank you, and you're supposed to say you're welcome. Uh, okay. <laughs> I only know that because I went to one Penn State game this year. I thought they were just being very well-mannered man over there. Nope. You think a student section's ever <laughs> well-mannered? Ma I've been part of many student sections. We are very well-mannered. Mm. Whatever you say. I was always sure to say please and thank you. <laughs> and very polite to the other team. Number 33, Counter. Back to serve for West Branch. West Branch is 
slipping away, Mac, running away. Max subbing in for West Branch. Good dig. Hi, set. And oh. double. A double on that. I'm sorry, but I just don't think so. Again, not my call. <laughs> you see why I don't understand double? Every ref's different. This looks like a set to me. Well, that was rough. Homer Center's going to have to focus up if they want to take this game. Yeah, you know, if you got to... If you want to do the reverse sweep, you, you can't let your dreams just be dreams. No, just do make it. make it reality. Still time in the game for Homer Center to come back. Nice set and oh, a nice rip. That's the person you want to get the ball to. Number 31, me and Williams. You know what I don't miss, miss about high school, Jade? What? Bleachers. Oh, I hate sitting in bleachers. I'm so uncomfortable right now. Yep. <laughs> Good serve Low by number serve. 14. Someone's got They're good going talk. each other off. A little taparoo. Oh. And, and it works. And it works. Number 14. Grace Frazier still back to serve for Homer Center. Ah. <laughs> Good serve. They're out of system, but number 13 still going to swing. And they're going to get that block. I thought it was a block, but they're calling four touches. Again, take the block. We're going to pretend it was. All right. Jade says it's a block. It's a block. <laughs> Number 14, still back to serve. It's a very aggressive screen. Clearly. Nice Ooh. up. Go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting into this Jay, game. <laughs> Jay's becoming a cheerleader over here. Good this block. block by number 31, our girl Megan Williams. They just punched me over that. It was a good block. Nope. Well, punch worthy block. <laughs> <laughs> good serve. It's by a mile. I I mean sometimes you just gotta take the risk and hope. That was number ten Makaya Mac with the kill. Yeah, sometimes that risk just fails you. <laughs> Number 21, back to serve. It's Myers. I don't think she hit that the way she intended. No, she did not. Number 21, still back to serve, Myers. Or West Branch. Fancy little spin before she serves it. Miscommunication. Oh. Makes this the first game point. Match uh, point of the uh, set. There's still plenty of room for... Well, not plenty of room, but... <laughs> <laughs> but no, Saturday. there's plenty of room. Yeah, great. Over center, I come back. Anything uh, can happen. Game's not over. Yeah, Jade. So, one point you lose. Why are you telling your team in the huddle? Don't, don't give them a point. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't do it, guys. <laughs> uh, if you're in this situation... You just got to say, keep fighting, stay focused, don't let up, and communicate. And West Branch's fan section are very hopeful for them to get this match. End it right here. 
Great pass. Megan. Megan with the tip. Number 31 is back to serve as well. I don't think that's where I want her for this, but... Nope. But her defense has been really great as well, so maybe we could use her in the back row. 34 has been two bad kills either. Ashlyn Kerr. Out. Out. That was risky. Yes. But that risk paid off. And a timeout is called by time West, Ran West Branch. Twenty-three, twenty-four, win by two. Coach, just like Megan, if you could just, you know, ace it <laughs> a few times here in a row, that'd be great. I always get stressed when I have to serve on game point, like uh, other teams' game point. <laughs> doesn't seem stressful at all. This is the championship. It's final. A lot is on the line. Good bit of pressure, huh? Just a little bit. Since I've seen Megan play, she's pretty well with this pressure. Line judge unraveling her flag. <laughs> Refs have such quirky personalities. Good serve. Oh. And West Branch wins the District 6 Class A Finals. Yeah. A great game by both teams. Homer Center just coming out a bit short. But wow. Three to one. Final on the, on the sets. Wow. That was a that was a good game to watch. And West Branch is here. Uh, you were getting very into it. Yeah. That's what happens. <laughs> Maybe you have a new favorite player and everything. <laughs> Congrats, West Branch Warriors, for winning the District 6 Class A Championship. Yeah, played a, played a great game. Uh, found, a, found that campfire spot, as you called it, a lot. And I think it just took, uh, Took Homer Center a little too long to figure that out. Yes. I think if they would have found that out sooner, we would have had uh, a, a set five. I but agree. But that entire first set was pretty much just roasting s'mores. <laughs> Good terminology. I'm proud of you. But, yeah, I agree. That first set, West Branch used to their advantage that open spot right in the middle of the court. And Homer Center took a little bit too long to figure it out. They played well, but just came up a little short. A lot of players played played well on uh on both sides. Yes. I mean if, if we're talking Homer Center, obviously Megan Williams stands out. I think Ashlyn Kerr stands out. Had good a lot of good kill attempts. Fabin. Uh Fabian really adjusted her strategy mm -hmm. uh there after the second set. And uh, showed her first versatility as a player uh, for for the Warriors. I think Cowder stands out a lot. Lots of strong kills. Croyle. Uh, I was gonna say Croyle next. Yeah. That just wasn't at the same time this this time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of good defensive plays. And I I think uh, Hebel had a good stretch of serves. Mm -hmm. During that last run, she uh, came in as a sub and just. Went on uh, some runs. In, in football, you call it fresh legs. In volleyball, it's fresh arms. She's hitting it. Fresh, fresh body. <laughs> so they're handing out the awards now. Everybody's getting a uh, medal. Yes. People. I questioned it too. Play it with enough confidence. <laughs> I 
I'm curious to throw a, a match like an MVP or something. Uh, I don't know if they will. Definitely well deserved, you know. Good uh good season for the Warriors. Led by head coach Terry Trude. This is a back to back championship victory for them. Yeah. Lost just four conference matches in the last thirty years. It's actually That's insane. Crazy. Yeah. That's actually <laughs> insane. Trude's been with the school. Uh, since it began its volleyball program in 93. Has over 700 wins. Good for him. Marley Croyle and Katrina Cowder leading the hit of Tanda. You could tell by just this game. Cowder. Uh, holds the record for most kills in West Branch Lady Warrior history. Impressive. And she shows it. She is a power hitter. The seniors are now collecting the team championship. Seems like they are losing Royal and Powder next year. So those are big shoes to fill. Yeah, it looks like uh, West Branch in the quarters won 3-0. And then in the semis, they also won 3-0. And in the semis, they were down 17-10 in the third set. But uh, came back to, to get that 3-0 win. Impressive. Impressive team. Taking team photos now. I do once again want to thank the Lady Wildcats, though, as uh, Homer Center collaborated with uh, High Top Sports to bring this game to everybody live. I mean, their season was nothing to hang their heads over. No, absolutely not. You make it to the finals, you had a pretty good season. Oh, for sure. Third straight appearance, too. They'll come out on top one of these times. They're bound to. So. West Branch. Good to celebrate tonight. Good night to celebrate. No school tomorrow. Oh, it is Saturday. <laughs> Stay up, uh. Yeah, stay up late, play video games. That's how you celebrate. <laughs> I assume that's how high schoolers go at it. Yep, I think that's what they're going to do. Stay up, play video games. <laughs> and it sounds like States are still a thing happening. And Homer is still alive. They get to go to States. Yes. Both, all teams that may get into district finals get to go to States and keep their volleyball run alive and see how far they can get there. And if anything, maybe even win States. I mean... West Branch play in the state title last year. Can they go back for two? We'll see. Looks like there's going to be another game happening. This is... Forest Hills, and I don't know who this other team is.
last year, Homer lost in state quarters to the same team that beat West Branch in the final. So that is interesting. <laughs> Both teams going to states. They'll have a chance to to continue a great run, and uh, maybe one of them will get the get the win this year, huh? Maybe. I'll have to keep track of both of these teams. Again, I was very impressed by a lot of those players today on the court. And big thanks to the Lady Wildcats Athletic Association for having us here. Yes, thank you. Letting us stream a good game. Good four set match. Congrats once again to the West Branch Warriors, the Lady Warriors, getting the final swing here. All right, Jade, any final thoughts here? Um, just congrats to both of these those teams for having a good match. Congrats to the West Branch Warriors for pulling out on top. Yeah, and good luck to the, the, the teams in the finals or the state playoffs. Yeah, I've, uh, I'd like to thank Jody Rainey as well for also helping us be here. Um, once again, congratulations to the Warriors, uh, Homer Center, nothing to hang your head over. Kurt, Kurt, Krojosik, I'm sorry, that is a tricky last name. The Assistant AD, thank you. Night for to uh to Phil Ricky the uh A D and and Chris who helped us set up. Thanks. I wanna thank everyone <laughs> before we go off air and I I think that's gonna do it. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, so good uh <laughs> good day, good volleyball. Yes. <laughs> Nemo on ones and twos. Jay Judak, Franchek Gus, thank you for listening to the Homer Center collaboration with Hot Top Sports. Have a great day.